First off, I want to say massive thanks to all the people that commented and expressed interest in both the NXT and being involved in the testing group. I'll talk a bit more about how that will work in the next little while. I've been doing a bit of riding with the NXT and I want to share a bit more information on the main screens as this is what people will be looking at most of the time. As a bonus, the weather was also really sunny today so I found the worst position I could find with the sun and shot a bit of video so you can get an idea of how the day mode in particular performs in bright sunlight. So what we have on the screen right now playing in the background are the four main pages and apart from a few minor tweaks this is what will be shipping with the NXT. These are mock-ups so they don't 100% represent the look of the screen but they're pretty close. There are two main themes with a day and night page for each version. So let's look at the first day mode. We have a large number for the speed, RPM gauge at the top, as well as watts and amps being drawn by the motor. The arrows on the side are for changing the pass levels. You also have the option to switch directly to the night mode, which changes the display over to this. Same things on the screen, just less bright for nighttime conditions. On the right, you also have the battery level as well as temperature for the controller and quick buttons for changing the drive mode and engaging or disengaging the motor idler. The rabbit icon switches between sport and eco modes and the setting buttons gets you into the main menu. If we switch over to the NXT gauge screen, this one, I guess, is kind of an homage to the displays you get on MotoGP bikes. It's already gone through a few cosmetic changes since I created these demonstration overlays. It has a few more features than the first style. The RPM bar runs along the top, but below is a numeric display and you can choose what displays in this by clicking on the RPM text and you can pick between watts, amps or RPM. The hotkeys are located on the left and they give you the motor modes and motor idling. It will also give you the information on the power and watts as you change up and down the levels. The lower buttons allow sport and eco mode selection as well as switching to the night mode. And just like previously, the night mode here is a darker version to reduce screen glare at night. The battery gives you a voltage. Uh, we're also looking at having the range, trip and odometer reading cycle in the box up here, as well as cycle through using uh, a button on the screen. So there are lots more main screens in development and that's one of the great things about this design is that it makes this kind of update possible. So anyway, I said earlier I found a sunny spot so you can see how the display performs in direct sunlight. So this is in probably the worst position that you could possibly have it with the sun directly down on the screen. So it's not like this most of the time, but uh, I have no issues in reading it. Um, hopefully it'll give a good impression from this footage as well, but uh, yeah, I can read the data on there, which is great, because I mean, it can't get any worse than this. Um, so if it works there, it, it works it works everywhere. So I, I've not had any issues reading the screen at all. Uh, this is the uh, this is the day mode version. Um, it's really nice and bright. So again, thanks for all the support and interest. I will post more details in the testing groups, as well as more information on the NXT here. The graphics updates shown will be tested over the next while, and if you're a Suron user already riding with the NXT, it will be available very soon to download. Cheers.